everyone, I'm Dawn of the Disney Geek SW and welcome back to my channel. Today is day 9? I don't know anymore. Uh, day 9 of Vlogmas. And I'm in a hotel so I'm not going to be talking very loudly. And I hope you can hear me. <laughs> so today's video is all about Dara Grace and Lee Michelle. Let's not leave her out now, because she's totally awesome, alright? So I am going to talk about my meet and greet with these two wonderful people and how excited and nervous I was and it was so awesome and I thought I'm going to film it so when I'm old and grey and I've gone senile and I don't remember it I'm going to go to a thing called YouTube and I'm going to watch this video of the day that I met the man that I wish I was marrying. Mm -mm. That is what I'm gonna do. So, it all started on Tuesday, the 5th of December, and then I said September. I can hear people walking around. I hope they can't hear me talking to myself. They don't know that I'm not busy working, right? Huh? Or talking on the phone. Anyway, uh, so yeah, 5th of December, and I was so scared, like, I am a natural anxious person, especially when I'm meeting new people, I have social anxiety and it's like horrible, but I watch these people on TV and everything, so I know them if you like, but it don't make it any easier, it does not make it any easier. I go and I get really scared, so I was scared the whole day and then once I got to the venue, we had to wait, what time was it, two hours? We got us inside for two hours. I was thankful for that, it was peeing it down outside. And I was so scared the whole time. I will not stress this enough. I was looking at my watch and my heart rate was up and everything. It was so scary. Didn't ask you anything, Minnie. Um, and so the doors opened, they walked past, which was nice. And Lee was like, pretend you haven't seen it. You know, and it was so cute. And then we uh, we queued to go in, but they're like only sent you in like a couple at a time. And I was there. Person in front of me went. Then it was nearly my turn, and I'm like, I gotta do it, and I can hear them talking, which kind of makes me worse. The minute I hear the person that I'm gonna meet talk, it's like, oh my god, it's now real. You know, I have to stand there and just listen to them be all lovely and nice and I'm like, oh my god, I can't do it, I can't do it, I can't do it. And literally, as I was, when she said it was Yago, I stood back and said, no, I'm not going, <laughs> I can't go yet, don't make me go. And now I think they were waiting for me because it took me a second to go, okay, okay, you can do this, Donna, you can do this. You've waited your, I was it, entire life. I haven't waited my entire life to meet Darren because he haven't been in my life entirely, forever. But since Glee, I've wanted this. And... So I just go and literally my heart was pounding. I could feel it in my chest. And I went over, Darren bent over to my height. I'm not overly short. And uh, he shook my hand and he's like, hi, I'm Darren. And I'm like, oh my God, I know who you are, dude, stop it. Um, so I just said, hi, <laughs> in my weakest, shaking, trembling voice. I'm like, I'm Donna. Like, hi, Donna. And I'm like, oh my God, he said my name. The fact that he said my name just freaked me out, you know, because like you hear the voices and you never want it to say your name, but two touch to say it to you. Like you can see him on TV saying Donna or whatever, and it don't mean anything. But to physically look you in the eye, he was looking me in the eye and he was saying my name. Oh my God. <laughs> And it, and it was absolutely brilliant. So I'm like, okay, I need to acknowledge Leah here now, you know, because I do love her, don't get me wrong. I like Leah, I like Leah a lot. And I love her music and everything. And I was just like, I was subconsciously, cause like for weeks on end, I've been going about, I can meet down, can meet down and putting brackets around Leah, which is wrong, I know, but. <laughs> So um, I was conscious to say, right, I'm going to interact with you just as much. I'm not going to show that I favour Darren. I don't think I did. From my angle. <laughs> um, but uh, So I went over to her, shook her hand, said, hi, it's nice to meet you. Um, and she was nice. And then I turned around to 
getting to shop for the photo and uh, Darren was there and he was like, obviously, and he was like, um, what was it? You liked my dress? No. That was Lydia. I'll get to that in a minute. He he said, oh, you look nice, very sparkly. Because I had my pink speckles and I'm like, oh my God, you're complimenting me on my clothes and how I look and that's just awesome. Oh, and I want a bit more than that, I don't know why. Um, so... I I was literally, at this point, I was just like, oh my God. I was like looking at him and just talking to him and I'm like, well, I'm still talking to Darren about my sparkles. And I'm like, this is like the stuff of dreams, literally. I was there and I could not believe it. Um, so then we had his picture and then I turned to Darren and said, can I have a hug, please? <laughs> and we hugged and oh my God, I was like literally such a mess at that point. I was like, oh my God. I just hooked this guy and then I turned to Leah and also did the same and she gave my arm a little squeeze which was nice and she that's when she told me she liked my pocket dress which obviously I'm not wearing now but then and it was like and then she was like enjoy the show and I said you too and I'm like hmm, should I say that I'm like yeah of course she can enjoy the show she's performing she enjoys performing right I can say that I thought that worked but um it was literally the fastest most amazingest 30 seconds of my life and I'm like oh, I just wish I could do it again I wish I could do it with one more lighting I'm a bit blind and so I walked around the corner to go meet Darren and Leah and there wasn't much light and I'm like okay I can't really see much here <laughs> just like just follow them Donna follow the big people <laughs> you see them <laughs> um, but yeah it was brilliant um, I'm going to show you what I got now. I got a wristband, you may have seen it flapping around. I like my wristband, I'm going to keep it up for about a week. <laughs> as much as it'll allow me, because I don't want to ruin it. Um, got a lanyard. I don't know if we can see. Let's have a look. Can we see? Boop, 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 boop. And we got this cool little gift, right? Usually. And so I will give you a gift, it's somewhat naff. Me and my sister went to see Justin Timberlake years ago and we got like, this little compact mirror and it was useless, it was rubbish, we don't use that kind of thing. Um, but this time we got a Darren and Leah, actually has them on it, I'm like Justin. Sorry Justin, we do look here. Um, a little Bluetooth speaker, how cool is that? It's quite a way as well. And mine has died so this is like really convenient that I have one of these now. And I haven't played with it yet, I'm going to play with it when I get home. Mm. Isn't that interesting? It is, it really is. Um, and we'll get to the last bit. And I get this. <laughs> I lost my um, rubber band. <laughs> that didn't work like I wanted it to. <laughs> and I got a side poster. There's Leah's signature. I can't see, is that Darren? No, that's me. Okay, there's Darren's. <laughs> oh, I love it. I absolutely love it. I really do. Oh, so literally, last night was the best night I have had in a long time. Like, the concert was brilliant. Front row. Obviously, it's part of my package. But, um, oh. If I could do it again, I think they're in Birmingham tonight. I would so go to Birmingham if I could. Um, it was, I'm gonna get to say it was amazing. It was really, 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 really amazing. And if, if I ever get the chance to go again, to see them or meet them or both or either or, I would happily go and do it. I am a happy lady. I now need to see the photograph just to cement that happiness in time. Um, I'm hoping there's no veins out of my head on the picture, because you never know. They do pop out when I'm at moments of extreme happiness, to be fair. I've seen plenty of pictures, you just see these little bits here and there. <laughs> but anyway, I will leave it there. I can bobble on about this forever and what I was thinking and feeling and touching the hands and, oh, just the whole thing is permanently momentary on my timeline of a life of happiness one of those moments is definitely that i love my t-shirt do you like it it's not really fun when i 
get much. So it's nice. I had to. It's got his face on it. I can look at it whenever I look in the mirror. Oh, damn, I'm not sure if so bad. See, I'm bobbling. I'm sorry. I'll stop bobbling now. Hope you like this video because I really enjoyed making it because I just get to relive it over and over. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more from me, you can subscribe and hit the bell button boop, to be notified when I upload. And that is every single day at 6.30 p.m. UK time. Um, 